This is what Professor Andreas Fahrt has been up to almost every day for the last four weeks. His idea of a summer holiday, you see, is a gruelling 1,200-kilometre journey along the River Rhine. On a day like this, do you really feel that it's worth it? Of, of course it's worth it. Well, it's uh, for science. What the adventure is really about is analysing the water that Professor Fahrt is swimming in. A team from his German university collects daily samples from the Rhine, testing them at a mobile laboratory. Here, they're checking the oxygen levels. Um, if there's too much or too low oxygen in there, the microorganisms will die and the fish too. And so this is really critical for a good ecological system. But proper analysis means using expensive new equipment that costs over $130,000. Thanks to donations that the stunt has attracted, they'll soon be able to do the science. The professor and his team are nearly at the end of their journey, and when it's over, they hope to have raised enough money to really find out what human activity is doing to the River Rhine. A few decades ago, the Rhine was heavily polluted by industry. These days, it's clean enough to fish in. But still, this swim has left some people bemused. I thought when we've seen him this morning, crazy boy, honestly. I would say respect. He's not crazy, he's just got his mindset on it. The team expects to find toxic substances from farming and things like traces of antibiotics that sewage plants can't get rid of. In the long term, the aim is to develop better ways of treating wastewater. In, in other rivers or, or lakes in, in the world, people don't have um, clean water. And I think uh, we borrow the water from nature. So we, uh, my philosophy is to give the water back to nature uh, how we get it, it in, the same, in the same status. So in a few days, Andreas Fahrt will arrive at the mouth of the Rhine, reverting from extreme swimmer to chemistry professor. But the last lap of his challenge still lies ahead. Nadine Barber, Al Jazeera in northwestern Germany.